Hey there everybody, this is Degan from Degan Network, and welcome to episode 11 of Neverwinter Nights 2, the official campaign. Okay, so, previously we uh, went to Highcliff and got a bunch of quests, you know, but they're not really inside of the Highcliff area, so we have to go around different places and really uh, get them. So, we are going to Chandra's farm, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, pretty soon, I'm hoping that I'm going to level up so I could uh, get my hide to five. Be leveling up anytime soon. Two more, two more thousand. Okay, that's cool. Look at my hat, man. That's a kick ass hat. I love that feather. Nice. Alright, let's go, motherfuckers. Awesome. So, this is Shanza's shitty farm. Looks like this is the place, but where's... Who are you? Did Maine send you? Fuck Whoever you are, you don't look much like a farmer to me. Any reason why you're gracing me with your presence? Is there a reason he should? You don't look worth it. Oh, well, snap. Well, it's just the truth. And she asked... Damn. Maybe you all better tell me <laughs> what you're doing here. There's been too many visitors lately, and I really don't have the patience for it anymore. Well... A lot. Oh, we're part of a merchant caravan coming through, and, uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. I kind of want to lie to her and just be a douchebag. All right, uh, we're part of a merchant caravan. Guess it would have been too much to expect for the elder to send him. <laughs> I've been alone out here ever since the others abandoned their farms and took shelter in Highcliff, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Hmm. Well... Why are you staying here, then? Well, I'm not here by choice. I'm supposed to be making the merchant run through Port Last and Ember right now. But with the recent troubles, I can't leave the farm, let alone take the trade road from Highcliff. I can't even move my harvest into town. And if I can't sell it, I won't make it through the year. Not to mention the towns counting on the trade. I have friends in Ember and Port Last expecting shipments this season. Who cares? So, um, have you been attacked? Not yet. But it's only a matter of time. Nice. No one's been killed, luckily enough. Mostly buildings and houses have been burned, but no deaths. That's strange. I would have thought the lizard folk would have tried to kill the farmers first. They tend to, um, eat people. <laughs> From what I've heard. I agree. It is unusual. But the lizard folk may be afraid to push Highcliff too far. Too far? After all this? Don't know how much farther these people can be pushed? Shedding the blood of another tribe is different in lizard folk culture. While destroying objects and homes is more, well, territorial is the oh, best. Oh yeah, thanks for spoiling well, the entire no fucking plot, Eleni. I've seen just a lot of farms burned and grain destroyed or stolen. Well, did you say the merchant road out of Highcliff is blocked? The one in everywhere? It's worse than that. Oh. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It okay, happens looks so like we're not going that way. Quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village, and even <clears> as far <throat> south as Fort Lock, is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve, or worse. <laughs> What's worse than being starved, dude? <laughs> um, hmm. So, when did these attacks begin? A few months back. I don't know where they've all come from, but suddenly they're swarming all over the place. A few months ago. These tribes may have been driven here from the mayor. Well, well, what the hell do you mean? Tribes of lizard folk have left the mayor recently. And I don't think it's by choice. Something's driving them out. From the looks of it, they may be ranging farther and farther in search of food. Well, I'm more than willing to leave them alone if they left us alone, but when they start burning homes and crops... <sighs> Well, that's when I get worried. I have a feeling it's going to be a rough season like ahead, my and green we're not making things it's any really better. Good. Well, um... Do you know where they're striking from? No, but it must be someplace close by. At first, I thought their lair would be close to the water, but now... Now I'm not so sure, and I wonder if they've set up a camp just for attacking the outlying farms. I doubt mm. it's their main lair. It's too far from water. But I've seen fires up at the old ruins. It's only been in the past few days, though, which is strange, since the lizard folk were attacking long before that. Well, it's probably it's not like them, then. It's going on up there. 
I haven't been able to leave the farm long enough to tell anyone. I guess I was counting on the Elder to actually send help. Well, <clears throat> what ruins are you talking about? The ruins up there are of Highcliffe Castle, destroyed in a war some time ago. A wall. Lots of magic was thrown around, even talk that demons and devils were summoned and fought each other. Well, that's probably what's going to happen. It's in the ground beneath my feet. Traces of it, anyway. There's I'm a demon, the so I can tell. Still buried around here. Some farmers can't take a plow to some fields without turning over an old weapon or two. But that's not what has me worried. Okay. You said the, if the lizard folks are at the ruin, it could cause trouble for you and the lizard folk. Well, yes. I suspect there's a reason that place was never rebuilt. It's always had a strange history. Everyone in Highcliffe knows to leave it alone. There's and there's more there. than lizard folk troubles nowadays. At least from the <clears> tales <throat> coming from the southern road. Don't know if you've heard. You just there's told been me. sightings of forms walking in graveyards, strange shadows. Some of it could be just local drunks talking, sure. But I've heard tales from merchants as far south as Fort Locke. Okay, so it's pretty much like the sh same shit from uh, Fort Locke, I think. We're looking for a man, Junie's husband. Have you seen William? him? William? Actually, yes, I did. William. And he didn't stop when I called to him. He looked frightened. Kept looking back as he ran. Uh -oh. I just thought Junie had sent him on some errand. She pushes him a little hard sometimes, but he lets it happen, so I don't have much sympathy. Oh, snap. He's like, well, if he's not going to stand up to his woman, then I don't have any sympathy for that motherfucker. I'm just like, yeah, man, you got to have some boundaries in a relationship. Communication's key, man. Okay. So, anything else you could tell us about the area? Not much more to tell, but if you want to help, oh, let me just map the ruins on your map. <laughs> Why do you have that strange look on your face? Um, um, you're talking about lizard folk? Oh, right. <laughs> Being a dick. Speaking of which, I better get back to keeping watch bef before. <laughs> My barn! <laughs> I let down my guard for a second uh, and they were waiting for it. <laughs> waiting until I got distracted. Oops, my bad. <laughs> um, maybe you should have gone to the village earlier. What a fucking dick. Uh, or like, yeah. Let's see. And maybe you should go to the hell. <laughs> what, do you think it was any safer there? Ask if you sailors and uh, they agree. This, this farm yeah, because you would have been have. raped. And now that my harvest is gone and with winter coming, oh. look, if you're going to have to you're do fogged. it, I'm so tired of another winter and Fort Locke and the militia and the and elder the government and, and the world to help and us out everything and ever happening. Just once, just this once, <laughs> if you can actually do something for Highcliffe, for the farmers here, it'd be long past due. Don't give a shit. All right, man, that was one of the best conversations of all time, dude. You can't put that out with your hands. I don't think you have fire extinguishers around here. Man, this is awesome. Alright, let's go to uh, that castle place. That was an awesome conversation. Definitely one of my favorites thus far. I mean, man, my character is kind of a douchebag. <laughs> Alright, Highcliffe Castle Ruins. But that's the whole point, right? Okay. Oh snap. This is cool. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. Huh, what do we have here? Shit. Hmm. So this is the High Cliff area. High Cliff Castle. Okay, so that's the castle. Ah, there's William, bitch guy. All right, Quilliam. Who are you? How did you find me? Uh huh. Are you William? Junie sent you, didn't she? I should have known she wouldn't give up easily. I'm not going back. I've made my decision. The clearing will serve just as well as High Cliff from home. Really? For, oh, wow. Uh, why are you out here? Junie's worried. I just couldn't take it anymore. The farming, the child, never any time to myself. 
Hey, fuck you, man. I mean, you're a goddamn parent. You need to take some responsibility uh, for your actions, okay? Condoms are cheaper, dude. How's that for a lesson? <laughs> and if that's not good, if you're saying that's horrible to say, which kind of is, why don't you take care of your fucking kid? How's that? She wouldn't even let me spend a few evenings at the Blue Rooster. Oh, so you want to go to the bar and hook up with some stupid little bitch, like Junior was saying. See, you can't do that when you're in a marriage, you know. I decided to start a new life elsewhere. For now, this clan will do. Tell Junior you found me dead, killed by bears. Here, take my wedding pan. Here, take this ring. I don't want this shit anymore. <laughs> I should convince her to stop looking for me. Uh, yeah, well, running away isn't a solution. I disagree. Okay. Sure, I'm living in this tiny camp right now, but it's my choice. No one's here to tell me what to do. Okay. With the wolves and lizard folk out here, you're lucky to survive another night, or you have responsibilities, you can't just turn them back on. Hmm. Let's go with... You have responsibilities for the sake of that kid. Oh yeah, you're right. I suppose I can't just leave uh, them to fend for themselves. Cool. Very well. I will return to High Cliff. Promise me you won't tell Junie what I did. I couldn't survive that, not with her temper. Oh man, I totally want to fuck his life up. All right. Uh huh. What is it worth to you for me to stay quiet? Let's <laughs> be a douche. I see how it is. Fair enough. Here. Yeah, take what I have on me. I hid in a way to use for myself. <laughs> wow, what a fucking douchebag, man. I guess I won't be needing it now. Alright. Now that we've come to an agreement, I wish you farewell and safe travels. I need to get this camp in better shape. Okay. Cool. Stay back. What the fuck? I'll not fight you. Slan must get help. Um, dude, you're yelling at us from top of the fucking castle. Uh, okay, calm down. All right, what are you doing here? More like. Slan leads clan here to sink human boats. Dead ones attack Slan's warriors. Slan escape. Slan must ask chief for more. Oh, Slan, he's to cool fight. too. Okay. Um. So your clan's responsible for troubles in High Cliff. Yes. Humans invade our lands. Hunt us. Humans need to be stopped. Well, if I help to save your clansmen, will you take me to your chief? How can Slan trust you? You might attack chief. Uh, I just want to talk. We might solve the problem in Highcliff without more violence. Slan, believe you. Help save Slan's clan, and Slan take you to chief. Slan, oh, hold on, bargain. Doing, lad. Letting him go is one thing, but fighting side by side with lizards? Dude, huh. we got a fucked Don't up party. Don't let Dwarven suspicions bother you. I trust you. Bitch. <laughs> we kiss ass. Okay. Uh-huh. Thank you, Nishka, but Kelgar's being cautious. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm getting tired of all this talking when we should be fighting. Lizard or no, let's get on with this. All right, we're gonna Dead fight. Just fucking wait. Slan's men trapped below. You help Slan save them. Slan take you to chief. All right, so we got Slan, slander. It's part of our party. Cool. Let's go. Let's keep going. Oh fuck you. Okay. And also, we're going to do B. I'm going to put this up here. Slide this over here. And actually, what I'm going to do is... Mm -hmm. Take this to... Two of those off. Summon creature. We're going to put that there. Yeah. Shield of faith. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, that's good. Rest. Ah, oh, there's enemies nearby. You motherfucker. Oh well, that doesn't matter. Now the reason why I did that is because uh 
I'm not going to be using death domain powers um, in inside where those zombies are at. Oh, there's wolf people. They are fucked. Hmm. Um, dude. Help! Help me, motherfucker. Give me a moment, and this will all be over. I think Come on! Alright, while you guys do that. By the shadows of God damn it, Eleni. Piece of shit. Alright. We're gonna. We're gonna do this. Oh yeah! I see them. Boom, bitch. You like that motherfucker? Damn it. Boom. What the hell is this diseased? Oh well. Oh, I gotta give a shit. Dude, would you attack help Slon up there? Oh my god. It's like these guys are douchebags, they're not helping. While they do that, I'm gonna grab Kelgar. Yeah, we got we got some other things to do with Kelgar. No, don't follow me. Oh, okay. I guess what? That's done. What do you want? What is this? Oh, you're diseased. You motherfucker. Bonaparto. Bonaparto. Boom. Okay. Now the summon creature, uh, I can only use either death or summon creature. Um, so out here I'm going to use death and inside I'm going to be using uh, summon creature. But I think we're going to have to wait till uh, we get inside for the next episode. But there are some more creatures that we're going to kill. Hopefully we level up from these guys. Oh yeah, bitch. Motherfucker. Hmm. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. Take Eleni's lightning, man. Son of a bitch. Boom. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Damn it, Kelgar. What are you trying not to help? Camera controls are like opposite of Dragon saying, so it's kind of like hard for me to get adjusted. All right, there's some more motherfuckers up here. Always explore the map all the way through. Cause you got more of these guys, and I'm going to only get these guys too. Come on down, little bitches. Get your ass over here. What, you wanna play? Fucking, let's go. Boom! Take that. Sound blast, bitch. Come on. Nice. Alright, so those guys are dead. Ah, man, we need another thousand XP. Alright, let's talk to these bitches here. Alex and Andrew. The, the, thanks for helping us, stranger. Uh, what were you two thinking coming here by yourselves? You're not my parents. You can't lecture us. I'm like, bitch, I'll fucking lecture you all day long, man. Um, I'll do whatever the fuck I want and answer my question. It was my fault. Dad was telling us some stories about someone he met in the mayor and how they fought off a thousand lizard men and evil dwarfs and stuff. 
why don't you learn how to uh, <clears throat> use you know words correctly it's no excuse that you're eight okay when I was eight I couldn't speak English properly but I still knew how to construct a coherent sentence fuck it didn't sound all that hard uh, so Alex and I came out here to look for some so we could fight them too <laughs> oh shit you're joking right uh, well, wolves are bigger than evil doors, right? No, not really. <laughs> Douchebag. I think Kelgar should punch that kid in the face. That's why we were so scared. I bet we could have beat some old ratty dwarves. Don't know about lizards, though. <laughs> Your father was just telling stories, you piece of shit. <laughs> no one was able to do it. He said, ah, well. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, lad. Maybe not a thousand, but we certainly... Shh. Hey, what was that for? Fucking l &E, man. But Dad said he saw it with his own eyes, and Alex and me are both old enough to fight, too. Yeah, with each other. So, should I lie? Believe me, I was there and nothing happened. He was just telling you stories to amuse, me, amuse you. So don't do anything like this again. Or, there was a fight, yes, but there weren't a thousand. And the two of you shouldn't be worrying your parents like this. Yeah. It was you, wasn't it? You were the one that saved Dad and the mayor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, so you better listen to me. Get the fuck out of here and don't do shit like this again. Damn it, lawful. Okay, just don't tell Dad we got in trouble, all right? <laughs> yeah, start walking unless you want more wolves to show up. Here's some coming right now. You're mean, and we can get home without you. We know this place better than you ever will. Fuck you. <clears throat> Eleni's like, you handle that quite well. You got children of your own? None of that I know of. Mm -mm. This is hardly the kind of life suited for raising children. I hope to. Never gonna happen. Or I already got three children and I'm leaving her out as it is. Wow. <coughs> let's, <laughs> let's, let's do that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> On the off chance I get tired of cracking schools, I need to find a, a calm, calmly dwarf, dormant wench. And make me a whole clan of iron fists. Oh, that's kind of disgusting, man. I really don't want to hear about this, especially anything about homely Dorvin wenches. So says the girl with horns and a tail. Yeah, that's kind of weird, too. Don't be judging uh, Dorvin women too harshly. They lack in statue, but they make up for it in spirit. Okay. <clears throat> if I was doing some dwarf girl, <laughs> okay, and. She was short, but she had spirit. That doesn't make a difference. She's still large and plump and round, you know, like, it's kind of unattractive. Well, judging from what I've seen, I believe your our noble leader will make an excellent parent. What's that an offer? <laughs> What's that an offer? To you? I'm not some mere village hero uh, to be swept off the ground by your bold suggestion. Well, why the hells are we even talking about this? You're right, perhaps I'm wasting our time. Our time, yeah, that's right. We should be moving on. This isn't the safest place to stand and talk. Of course it is. We got a lizard folk guy right here. It's completely safe. Like I said, don't like Eleni. She's just boring, man. I love Nishka and Kelgar's conversations. They make fun of each other constantly love that it's extremely hilarious okay there's got to be some uh, more zombies around here hopefully do 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 shit okay keep going can't believe I got lawful on that shit, man. I'm still at 83.13, so. Uh. Still good. I should have been chaotic. That, I think that is more of the personality I was going for, is chaotic. Instead of, like, murdering random people, I think chaotic would have been, like, that douchebag. 
type of thing where, you know, your character's just an overall asshole. Oh, yeah. Unidentified gauntlets. Yellow rose. The only usable by monk. Fuck you, man. I've played a monk before. Do it. That's what I I was a monk on my first playthrough, um, up to Act One, and it was awesome. I didn't have to do shit, man. I was immune to diseases, immune to poisons. It was like freaking amazing. Okay, anyway, that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and uh, you know if you have any questions or anything like that, comments. Go ahead and put that in the comment section or send me a message on YouTube. Um, other than that, I mean, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe because uh, they'll be out on like a you know every two day basis. Um, I have some other games such as Dragon Sang, River of Time. Um, I'm actually doing that episode as well as this one at the same time, uh, so they'll be released on the same days. And uh, Fire Emblem Gaiden, I'm actually done with that game. I just haven't uploaded all the episodes, and I will be doing that as well. And um, I'm looking for some new games to play with, just older ones that I have. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. If you have any suggestions on any of those games, um, you know, to record, like any new games for me to record. Uh, it could be any game. It could be old or new. Uh, I prefer old though, but uh, if you have any of those, go ahead and give me a suggestion. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.